Hey there everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today this host is going to talk about how to learn to program. That is a very difficult question and a lot of us are actually stuck with this. They really want to code, they want to design their app, maybe a website, maybe a web application or maybe a software. But everyone is stuck with one problem, how to learn to code. And it's a tricky answer. It's obviously it's a tricky question and should get a tricky answer. But again, just like all of the videos, I'll be completely honest with you about how to learn to code out there. So stick without stick with me for in this channel. And in case you haven't yet subscribed, do subscribe to my channel. We will be having a lot of talk videos about iOS development, Android development, web development, what career path you should choose and how to learn code and stuff like that, you know. So let's get started out here. So I, I get a lot of emails and most of them says a lot of time that, sir, I want to learn to code. I'm really interested in that. I have no idea which language should I start with. I have no idea how to do that. But still, I want to learn to code, but I'm not able to do so. Some of them says that um, I'm learning programming from a couple of days, but I'm not getting good in that. So what is actually the procedure to learn to code? OK, so let's discuss that. First of all, I started my programming with C because it was in my uh, curriculum in the college in the BTEC days. Yes, uh, I'm an engineer and <laughs> let's just not talk about that. So I started with the C, failed badly. The first code that I written, and believe me, this is the point here, that when you will ask a lot of experienced programmer what code they written, they'll say, I wrote a hello world first, I wrote a tic-tac-toe program. But what I wrote, first of all, was a program full of errors. <laughs> I'm not proud on that, but yes, that's true. I wrote a simple hello world program and it was completely with the bugs. A lot of semicolons were missing, uh, curly braces were missing. And it took me about a day, an entire day, to solve all that problems. But you know what's important behind that? I didn't left the programming. I stuck with that for a whole day and solved my problem. And finally, I was having a hello world out there. That is most important. So the key idea behind learning the programming is to stick with it. Stick with it. You will not learn programming in a day, in a week, in a month, maybe not in an year. But what you have to do is stick with it. There will be situations where you will be not able to solve problem. You might be feeling comfortable with declaring the variables but not using them. You might be feeling comfortable with entirely variable declaration and the usage but not with the functions. Maybe not with the loops. Eventually with the time you will feel comfortable and your area of the topics in the programming will expand out there. Like first of all you will, you will get comfortable with variables, floats like that. And then you will get comfortable with if else and then functions, then loops. And finally, you will be able to declare the classes, objects, polymorphism, inheritance, you know, geeky words. But the whole idea is to stuck with it. Problems will be there. Challenges will be there. Programming is not about learning the syntax about C or Java or maybe Swift. It's about learning the approach. If I just say to myself, uh, how much time will I take to go from Swift to PHP, maybe a couple of days. Because at the end of the day, it's just about loops, it's just about functions, it's, a, it's just about the syntax of declaring the things. But how do I solve a problem? Is always gonna remain the same. So how do I solve a problem of finding an even number or odd number is almost exactly the same in the Swift, in the Python, in the PHP, in the C. The syntax actually varies, the, the whole logic behind it always remains the same. So number one goal, stick with it. Number two is uh, just look out for the code. Sometimes it's not easy to get the code at first, but, but keep around looking. And Stack Overflow is always the best friend of the programmers, so stay a lot of time on, the, uh, on that. And on top of everything, once you are comfortable and choose just one language for the starting days, maybe for six months or an year, because you will get comfortable with the syntax over the time. And once you have done that, now, decide a goal for yourself. Like you want to build a tic-tac-toe or maybe a web application that takes the email or maybe a simple number guessing, guessing game or anything like that. So take a goal and stick with it. 
Now, a lot of people will say that uh, programming language are equally important. Yes, I do agree. Like if you will try to design an iOS application in Java, you will fail badly. Or if you will try to design an Android app in the Swift, you will fail badly. But that's a talk for another day that what programming language should you choose for what platform? That's an another day talk. Right now, the important part is stick with it and decide a goal for yourself. Now, it's up to you and only to you that how much time you take and how much effort you are putting in solving that problem to achieve your goal. So make sure that you complete your goal. I still remember that I wanted to design a simple to-do application in the iOS and it took me over a month to just completely finish that application with the polished icons. So in the meantime process, I had to learn a little bit of the designing, a lot of the Swift, which was eventually new from the very first day I'm following the Swift. So the a language was new, there was no uh, online resource available, not much help, a lot of functions like swipe gestures, adding more other, other than deletes and a lot of functions like that. But still, what I did, I stuck with it. I was completely there with the language, didn't cheat it out. Every single day was into the solving of that problem. That is important. Okay, so I know a lot of you got the answer that how to learn to code. Let me summarize that quickly. So the first thing that you have to do is get a good uh, language, maybe C, Python, Java, anything. Once you have taken that, search for a good IDE as well. Now I have planned that um, I'll make a separate video on the IDE usage as well, how to choose the best IDE. But choose a good IDE, it's always a good approach. If you'll write your C code in the turbo, that's a bad idea. You should be writing your code in good platforms like uh, maybe uh, lower end dev or maybe high end Eclipse, but choose a good IDE for yourself and save some time. And once you have done that, get comfortable with the syntax it will take a lot of time and once you have done that look around for the codes that other people have written and try to follow their approach that how they have tackled the problem and solved that and finally decide a goal for yourself that i want to build this and uh, that can be anything uh, a billing system a hospitality system or maybe a simple tic-tac-toe game a hello world or a greetings or a simple program that simply greets you on uh, 9 a.m 12 a.m uh, 12 o'clock and uh, 6 p.m and just like that you know so decide a goal and make sure that you finish that goal that's the only way to learn programming there is no shortcut there is nothing you can skip Give it some time and eventually it will come. It's not about the syntax, it's not about the language. Okay, so quite a lengthy talk, but compared to my other videos, it's very short. And in case you do have any other problems or questions, do notify me in the comment section once you have subscribed. You know, you have to hit the red button out there. Please, please, please subscribe to the channel. It always motivates me and uh, I love to talk with you. So go ahead and uh, post down your questions. I read them, all of them. And let's see you with another question in another movie. Bye-bye till then.